Welcome back to Wapner Farms Productions. Today, got a load of beans in here. They're not our beans, well some of them are. Um, we took off the neighbor's beans and those are running about 11%, so we thought we'd try our own beans. Come to find out ours are about 14%, so a little on the wet side yet, not ready to be taken off. So we got about three quarters of a hopper here and about, I don't know, like half to three quarters of a hopper there half the neighbor's beans, half our beans, and we're gonna go take that in to get sold. There we go, on the road we go. Looking around, fields are getting more and more bare everywhere. I think everyone's closing in on getting their corn silage off. We got about 60 acres left that's a bit green yet, but no big deal. Be another bunker to fill, then we'll be wrapping up with it too. It's just whatever is ready next, we're going to the next project. Beans will be a little ways out yet, so we're going to try to get some manure haul this week and then move on to taking some beans off and some corn next week. What we can all get done. There's still road construction everywhere. Look at that. It's way worse back there. I would have videotaped it, but I would have probably hit somebody. It would have been not good. Just made her to the co-op. Now I gotta figure out what the game plan is because I obviously got our beans and I got the neighbor's beans on. So obviously gonna have to unload one and probably reweigh or something. I'm not really sure. We'll find that out when we get there. Made it back here with the truck. Got her backed into her parking spot. Kyle's out closing some manure. And I'm gonna go see what else we got going on. This job's done for the day. Shouldn't have any more to do with the hopper bottom for another week. We're gonna try to haul some manure this week. So check in with everybody, see what everybody's doing. Sound like we wanted to get some gates welded in the barn, but there's a about a million other things that need to be done too so it's a matter of what I'm gonna be doing what everybody else is gonna be doing so check in with them and see how it goes In. That was actually a really quick process, and now we're gonna put our gates around the outside, I believe. Pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, I lied. We're not putting the outside gates on. We're putting the swing gates on. I am not head honcho of this project here, so we're gonna start on this end, work our way back. I assume there's some equipment that goes with this. We'll put them on. So we gotta find that. We got a plan now. Dad's heading after a 2x6 to make a spacer so we can set these all the same. I'm gonna get my welder set up. So now it's time to execute the plan.
I think those will probably hold. Well, you get the point. Two down. So, ten more to go. Just pulled up my helmet because I got done welding this one. Go and look around. There's no one here. It left me. I don't know how I'm going to hold this by myself, but see what happens. Dropping everything. Oh yeah. These are actually a little bit slower going up than those headlocks themselves. These are pretty simple bolt-on dealios. This is how you lock them. There's a little lever here. And you pull the headlocks over, so you push them over. So this is the unlock position. Cap sticks its head in, starts drinking its milk, and you lock them up. And then you can individually unlock them. Should work good, hopefully. So yeah, I'm gonna try to attempt these by myself, I guess. So it'd be really easy to do myself if I just set it on there, did it like that, but I'd like it to be raised so it wasn't so tight. This is kind of where we did the other one. I guess we'll grab my strips and see what I can do. Got all the gauge welded in finally. Now we're moving back down to the end. Pulling my leads. Get the rest of the gates around the exterior. Uh, fence in the rest of the barn. That should work.
first post and we got this tacked up but as you probably just saw we ran out of gasoline in the old generator so my dad's gonna go run and get gas and I'm gonna go run and get some more rods because we're running short whole box of them in the shed so time I get back he'll be back shortly and we'll get back to her be enough to last me another the rest of the day until we run out again. Put them in my transport system. Thing is a gas guzzling machine. I remember to fill your gas engines up with gasoline and not diesel. It's not a good time when you put diesel in there. Somebody did that once in this machine. I think we had the whole thing tipped upside down just to dump her out quiet in here right now so quiet how you guys doing what a wonderful day all right we got her fueled up we got some more rods and it is extremely echoey in here so i'm going to unravel a bit of this stuff get my grounds connected and start welding again looks like we got one two three four five Six more gates to do and all the gates will be in. So, not too much to do as far as the gates go. Might as well get at her. exterior gates done and dad and I managed to get two of these gates up Almost hit myself in the head these gates they're not all like these these are bifold gates for this pen because this pen's a little smaller than the rest of them but the rest of them will be just single gates hold it on and they'll open them off we'll be able to chase calves from side to side to enclose them in order to clean this side, clean that side, bed that side, etc. So, kind of exciting getting somewhere with this, I'd say. Realistically, this barn, if we got the rest of these gates in, those waters in, got electricity for the fans, I guess it's quite a bit of work, yeah. <laughs> but it's getting there. I'd say if we got electricity done, we could probably have this done in two days. Have it ready to go. But we still got uh, quite a bit of work to do on the other side. And then, I don't know, it's just a matter of time getting it all done. Got odds and ends to do everywhere. But the overall structure of the building's all done. At least you can see the pens coming together. You can really picture the structural integrity of the inside of the barn if we walk over here this is through our breezeway this will be for um we'll probably put a bunch of sawdust in here and then just whatever we need to store grain will probably go in there for feeding we got step up curbs on the back these will be individual pens on this side and you'll be able to throw over the back side instead of bedding from the front because that's always a pain in the butt and then this will be bedding storage here. So it's kind of a quick walk through the barn. It's coming along slowly but surely. A lot of little things, a lot of little things. Oh, we need tubes in this barn too. I forgot about that. So yeah, a little ways to go. 
But I'm beat, so I'm putting you guys down. We gotta set up for manure tomorrow. Everybody's seen that happen before, so I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna get set up for that, and I'm probably gonna go home. It's around 5.30, 6 o'clock, so a little bit of work to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.